The one, the only, Jordan Denning makes his way back into the Battle Arena cage, and this time it's for the long-awaited, oh god, I've been waiting for this for so long to see a Cooper's MMA guy fight for the world title, and Jordan Denning is doing it, baby. Here we go for the featherweight title, Jordan Denning. This is Jordan Denning from Cooper's MMA. Travel all the way from Ireland, and they've changed to some hideous, luminous green, yellowy color, Steve. Which, yeah, but I'll still take one of those shirts anytime. Jordan Denning, he's, a, he's an interesting cat. He fights so confidently, so smoothly, so skillfully. But, you know, I, and, and I love you, buddy, but you one of the most nervous-looking fighters backstage. But you can never tell us. Well, as soon as he fights, as soon as that bell goes, boom, he's, he's on. He's just there, isn't he? Yep. Oh. Yeah, so that's Jordan Denning actually coming in, that's just in case you were missing Denning. that up. But that's okay. Jordan Denning from Cooper's MMA. This is a featherweight fight, and this is for the featherweight world title, amateur world title. Oh, man, and he's got his handful of Kraken MMA. Stand out, Stan Mirmadrov. We're only moments away from an amazing fight. Well, moments away from two of the very top amateur talents in all of Europe, and the Cooper's MMA faithful have come in looking for it. Mimadrov, cracking MMA standout. I've heard so many great things about this guy. We've seen him live many times. He's strong. He seems to be able to pick up victories wherever he can. He's got a strong grappling style. Jordan Denny's going to have his hands full. But who's going to be taking this title home? Who wants it? I didn't know who won. Could have gone either way. I kind of scored it the other way. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it would have been. Yeah. yeah. Certainly in the last round, I've also quite smashed it. Yeah, so it yeah, won a 27. Massively ahead in the last round. This is going to be. This is two of Ballerina's favourite fighters Jordan Denning, Jordan the Machine Denning, against Stanimir Madrov. I like Stanimir. He fights for peace and love in the world. Yeah, exactly. I love peace and love. I also like the idea that these guys just go at it and just like absolutely bash each other's heads. And somebody arrives victorious. I don't think there's any room for a world title that's not won by absolute devastation. <laughs> I'm, ta I'm talking to you, Khabib. I'm talking to you, Poirier. Could be the night. That's the thing right now. Some of the biggest MMA fights in the world are happening. We have Stanimir versus Jordan Denning. We have Khabib versus Poirier all at the same time. What more action could you want? Now Stanimir, he wants to become a professional MMA fighter so he can spread his message of love and happiness and peace to the world through the vessel of MMA. It's an incredible message. And this is going to be it. This is, his, this is a great way of doing it. Oh, Stanimir, so athletic. Cracking MMA. They absolutely love him over there. And here we go. This is Stanimir Madroff, Jordan Denning. Stanimir happy to stay in the pocket, joining Denning oh. likewise. And Stanimir takes the early takedown. And then Jordan getting Denning's got really great jiu-jitsu, but Stanimir's had some phenomenal wrestling previously. Yeah, they're, it's a tale of different grapplers here. Is Jordan Denning trying to get to the cage and wall walk, but he doesn't really need to. He's got a good post on the head, turns away. He's really making Madrov work for that. Madrov's got the body lock and the head position. Oh, nice take down by Stanami, another one. A phonetic pace right now. 
Stenemir's got to be careful here. Denning seems to be setting up a triangle attempt. He's trying to set up a submission, but Stanimir is so experienced. He's going to see it coming. Such an obvious He's triangle setup. He is following the head, very, following the hips very well. <laughs> Looking for the arm there, maybe for a Kimura trap or Kimura lock. Hunting for that arm. Stanami has done a really good job of driving into the guard of Jordan Denning, not giving anything away, keeping his head low. Here. It's very hard on. to do anything when someone's so low in your guard. When they try and pass, it gives space. Look at that nice low passing from Stanami and Madrov. Locking up Halfcraft from the top as well, briefly there. Sometimes that's a good idea to get ground and pound going. Story so far is Stanami and Madrov on top. Stanami's doing a very good job. Jordan Denny trying to get that left butterfly hook in. It would just mean that he can make a little bit more space. It's going to be very hard to do with the pressure of Stanami and Madrov. Oh, Stanami with the pressure for the shoulders. Yeah, I was just going to say that the shoulder pressure is very strong. He's using it to his advantage very well there. He's controlling the position. Wonder if he's going to go high on those right toes and look to maybe cut the pass, move even tighter forward, or if he's just happy to grind it out right now. Yeah, very patient Make with Stanimir. Keep Denning working. Denning was very active off his back in guard, he's being equally as active right now in half guard, trying to get back to an underhook position. Nice. Stanimir is then like locking his arm, legs up in half guard top. It's such a good way of staying on top. Randy Couture used to do that back in the day. So they play close guard, more traditional jiu-jitsu positions. 10 seconds. The uh, the other person can get enough space to stand up, which in an, on a normal jiu-jitsu match, the other guy's not trying to stand up, so it kind of works, but. This is the world featherweight title, ladies and gentlemen. This is the world featherweight title. This is exactly what you want to hear. Cooper's MMA. They need a little bit of a change of game plan here. But if we had a they need to stay away from that takedown, big time. The, the grappling of Stanimir. Big time. There are some. It's all to be pay, played for here. This is a. Just looking at the face of Jordan Denning right now. It's a bit reddened. He's tired, but not completely uncomposed. He's very composed here, as always. Stanami looks as stoic as he always is. Equally so, yeah. Robert Masters in his corner there. Multiple time Battle Arena champion, Robert Masters. I've got one of those wicked cracking cr MMA shirts. They're you do, awesome. it's not fair, Steve. Oh, I can't they wait. can find I'm an XL in there. I'm going to go. Bin. I'm going to wear it to uh, train tomorrow. Awesome. There we go. Stan focused. Going to spread the message of peace and love by taking you down, trying to smash your face. Jordan Denning showing that there's no backstop. Irish MMA, that's for sure. Yeah, Stanley man, lovely timing. Ooh, right, right hook catches him and maybe just stops oh, it. Oh, is he under his neck? Oh, it's he gonna be is, hard to finish from there. It's really hard to finish. He's got maybe a Bronx choke here. Very interesting. It's pretty, he, pretty tight. He wrench it. He just needs to have a leg yeah, it's caught. Pretty tight. This is gonna be very hard here. Is Stanimir out? I think Stanimir's out. No, no, he's blinking. Oh. Like, yeah, very good composure here. It looked I don't like he's going out there. I wouldn't think he wanted to do that, but I think he's yeah, very patient from Stamir. Oh, Jordan Denning's really stretching back. Very strong here. Jordan Denning's right under that chin. He just needs to turn this into a better body position from the bottom. He's going to be able to finish the submission. The thing is, he's trying to grab that his own bicep here. I think he should be connecting his own hands and bringing the elbows high, Ella Marcillotine. Good. Oh, he's given up on that grip on the neck. Yeah, now we're back in a position where I think Stamir is going to start to smash, start to put some good shoulder pressure in and dominate from the top again. Didn't seem to have a lot of answer here from the half guard in the first round. Wondering if he's got some better some some ideas from his coaching takedown and smash is the stand me away 
it works for him. You've got to be impressed by the success he's having with it. Just grinding it out here. Denning trying to sneak to the back, but he needs an underhook on his own left side here. He's caught his own toes there. Calls for Stemmy to pass. He's, he's in a good position here. I think he should just, if he, anything, just sit back a little bit, try to land some left hands, then go right back to this position. I felt like Jordan Denning was millimeters away from the finish with that choke. Looked really tight. And didn't he had them all twisted up the wrong oh, way, didn't he? Oh, and he's out. The head control. He's got to watch his back. He's got to watch his back. Jordan Denning full of creativity here. Yes, Jordan Denning. What a round two he's having after a difficult round one. Wrap that arm to stop his back being taken. Very intelligent. I just feel like at Cooper's MMA, you're allowed to be the kind of fighter yep. you want to be because every one of them is different. Everyone that we see in the cage is different. And they all have confidence to, to, bring, it, to bring it forth in the, in the ballerina cage. And here he is in half guard, very successful. Standing here with a lockdown. Oh, he's looking for an coming out with the lockdown. Very tense planet. Mm. Denning's oh, what is Jordan looking for here? He's trying he's to take the, the back, side, but hard. He doesn't have the leg position. So he's left, his own legs get scooped up here. This will be a tough round to score. The submission attempt. Those three minutes went really quick, Chris. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. A little that's more equal. A, that's making things a bit more interesting going into round three. I'm not sure. I, I don't know how you score that. Huh. So I think there's difficult. a bit of disappointment there on the face of Stamir Madrov. He's hoping to, to maintain top position, possibly win in that round, but just didn't occur. He had such a fantastic first round. It's got to be uh, to come out. We saw that earlier tonight with Joshua Brew. You can't, you can't kind of rest back and think because you smashed the first round, it's going to be just as good in the second. A little bit of corner advice, a little bit of adjustment makes such a difference. It really does. And maybe that'll go the other way here as well. Just want, I just want them to get back, back into it. Just get started again because this has been excellent so far. What a night I'm, of action. I'm a big I'm a big Cooper's MMA fan, big Jordan Denning fan, big Stan Amir Madra fan. Who's going to claim that world title? Third round as we come out. Will Stan Amir stick with the same strategy? He's been coming out just fainting high and immediately shooting, turning this into a grappling match. And now he's have a bit more respect for the, the jiu-jitsu jiu jiu of Jordan Denning. I like Jordan Denning laying that right hand uppercut counter to the takedown early, late in the second round. There he goes for it again, but it gives up the the body lock here. And the drop is so strong. Head position's great. But Denning's doing really well to, to keep his hips into the grapple here, not turning away or not giving up the back or not giving up any poor positions here. And he reverses it very good. Jordan Denning just coming on stronger and stronger. I mean about the nerves sometimes that Jordan Denning seems to suffer. It just as soon as he gets into the fight, a couple of rounds in and just becomes a different man. Uh, good head positioning. Jordan Denning looking for the takedown. Always standing has got over the top. Stanham is very strong if he can get on the neck. Jordan Denning's got the leg. Nice takedown on Jordan Denning. Stepping across. Beautiful. But Stamir's got a, mm, nothing. He's got like a half guard guillotine kind of position here. Yeah, he's going to have to. Hands locked, arm in, but not nothing to write home about. Nothing that could really do damage, I think, to Jordan Denning. Yeah, and he's lost the grip now. Now Jordan Denning's on top. Maybe looking for an arm triangle setup. This is where we left off last time. Well. Jordan Denning's got it. He's not really being held in half guard too well. He should be able to slide his right leg out. Maybe use his left leg to free it. And he's got the knee coming through. Into almost quarter guard. Calls from his corner to turn in. Wondering if Jordan Denning can sneak that knee through. Yep. He's looking for that lockdown again. Lockdown is good for stopping the guy passing, but really, we're not worried about him passing here. We're trying to get back to our feet, maybe walk up the cage. I think maybe with Stanami, so strong, so athletic. He's not on the bottom as much as a lot of guys in the gym. Yeah. 
And we got, sorry, bar barely even noticed Jordan Denning moving into mount so slickly. Stamir gives up his back momentarily, maybe just to get a hook back, but now Deming's got both hooks in. Stamir is almost Look out on top. That. Power on top. Gives up the back just for a moment so he can maybe get back into a guard, into top and on in guard. Denning's doing really well here to control, really well. Can he come back on top? He can. 10 seconds left. Stamir gets out of danger there. There's a world title fight up. Uh, yeah, there we go. Two more rounds. Five three minute rounds. This is gonna be something else here. There's definitely some some adjustments being made in the Cooper's MMA corner and they've been really successful thus far. Wow, how do you score this fight? This is madness. So far, so madness. Wow. I almost give I almost give the last two rounds to Jordan Denning. Yeah, I can almost. see I'd score that. Definitely round one with Stanimir, all Stanimir. Jordan Denning with the adjustment. Wow. What action this how this is. Our title fight here at Ballerina. Brought to you by A1 Fight Gear, NetVision, and Cats Jolly Holidays. Here we go. We're in the championship rounds finally tonight, Garris. This is it. Shout out to all our Irish fans watching live on the pay-per-view. Howdy, Ireland. Let's get this going. Give us, give us your love. Give Jordan Denning your love. Get down to Cooper's MMA. Check it out. Whoa, Big double. Huge takedown. Awesome. And Khabib has won over in Abu Dhabi. Finishing the third round, I believe. Yep. And now we're looking yeah, at the fourth Stanimir round. Stanimir with a oh, crucifix. Gosh. And he's just smashing down those right Brutal hands right now. crucifix. He's doing really well. They're telling him to pound away. Try to get the finish. Maybe he can isolate an arm. Americana maybe. Yeah, the call for submission. Calling for submissions as well as he softens up the face he's of Jordan Denny. He's doing so well. He's landing so much. Oh, Jordan sneaking out the back. Good work by Jordan Denny. He was on the brink of the fight being stopped. Yep, they were def definitely a close, watchful eye there from Paul Nichols. Stanimir landed great shots. He's landed 200 plus ground and pound strikes there. Jordan Denny's just maybe too fatigued to be able to work and escape from here. It's very difficult to escape this north south position as well. It really is, especially when they're just laying on top of you there. Yeah, if they're happy just to control the position, win the round. He circles, circles away now to Stamir. Dravin, he's really tucked that arm under from Jordan. Jordan. Sneaking out again. Oh, nearly. Trying to. Trying to isolate an arm there for a second. I'd like to see him get wrist control here. Maybe he can finish it. He's following him really well. He's got that crucifix Sneaking again. Out. Nice Jordan Denning. Nice Jordan Denning. He's up. Reverses the fight. What a back and forth fight this has been. Nobody's out. Nobody's out yet. It's all to play for. Fourth round. Let's see if Jordan, what Jordan Tang's got. Stanimil. Now he's back on top. Stanimir almost looking for rubber guard there. It's very difficult against the cage. You have to be di you have to be a bit disappointed when you've been when you were active and that gave up the position. Yeah. Instead of just settling there, taking one or two. I think I feel like Stanley Madrava is making this way way closer than it has to be yep. at the moment. But maybe it's just the the awkwardness and the dif the difficulty of fighting somebody like <laughs> like Jordan Denning. He's an amazing fighter. Stanley just trying to make a little bit of room so he can get some submissions going, but Jordan Denning's he's wise to it straight away. Like maybe Jordan Denny's written off this round. He's just making sure it's not a 10-9. I mean, I still got to give Stanley Miller this round. He did most of the most of the round. He's in control. Even right now, he's trying to set up a triangle. It's hard to do. Wow. I think it's two rounds apiece, maybe. That makes number five quite exciting, Steve. There we go. 
championship rounds. We're at the very, very end. <sighs> wow. Wow. Just incredible heart from Jordan Denning. Back and forth with Stanley Madrov. We're just trying to bring to you the uh, the final championship round here of our featherweight tilt. The world title on the line. Who's going to claim it? Who's got it? We're just waiting for our our final round. Fifth and final round. <laughs> Who wants it more? Round five. Oh, Stanimir caught a big shot, but got the takedown. Big what double again. Start to the round, but yeah, a yeah, big right on the way through. Now Stanimir's corner. They got a time. Look, I think it's two apiece. Let's right make on. sure we win this round. Let's make sure we stay in a dominant position the whole way through. Good, Stanimir's corner. Calling for patience and ground and pound. I think that's intelligent. Yeah, just stay on top now, settle your weight. If the finish comes, take it, but don't rush it because Jordan Denning is one of the most wily characters out there. Oh, wow, look at the way he's crushing his arm down there. It's just beautiful. Stanami is resting and top pressure is so, so polished. A great ground and pound as well. Yeah. Very, very heavy on top, dropping the hips properly, isolating. There you go, he isolates the arm again. Same as the last ground. Very strong position here. Oh, is Stanimir looking for that arm or is just happy with the crucifix? If he can stay on top the whole round doing this, it's, you know, it's a good call for a 10-8 and that might give him the fight. I like this, he's kneeing to the body, which is yeah. very strong. Yeah, that's something I've always called for there in side control. Oh, but he gets out of, out of position Jordan momentarily. Denning. But this Heavy on. I thought he was heavy on the head, but it's just Stanmere breaking his own posture. <laughs> and Jordan Denning tried to jump around the oh. back there, maybe for a Kimura trap or something. Takes himself down. Jordan Denning winced as he landed there. Oh, Stanmere drop now in mount position. First time we've seen him here. Oh, oh nearly. The Uber escape from mount. Jordan Denning all heart right now. Jordan Denny needs to try and not have Stanimir sat so high up on his chest. When if he's on his hips, those that bridges, that hip thrust will work a lot more effectively, but so hard when you're this fatigued. So strong right now. This could be the round for wins it for Stanimir. Could be. It's been so close thus far. I would you'd have to push for a finish. I'd be so I'm so interested to see how this is, how this is scored. 30 seconds left, the corners are calling. Stanmere pins one one arm down and just starts smashing right hands through. Left hand lands, right hand. There's very little defense coming from Jordan Denning. He's trying to move, trying to scramble. Uh -huh. He's giving up his back. 10 seconds remaining. Jordan Denning Stanmere really, really putting an exclamation point on it. No, he's done a great job this round. Wow. What a performance. Stanley puts his arms up. He wants his belt. <sighs> Featherweight title is going to be wrapped around somebody's waist. We got to go to the judges' scorecards, but man. I think that. Th that I, last round. I'd give that a 10 8, and I think that's going to make all the difference. I'm going to have to go to the judges, take a look at what they say. I'll discuss that with them later on, but. Five rounds of awesome action. We've only got more coming up. World, world, and British titles coming up. Wow. So closely contested. So hard to score. I'm so impressed by Jordan Denning. You know, round one, he looked like he was really struggling. Round two came on so strong. But Stanimir with the heart, with the, the comeback. What a performance by Stanimir.
great show of heart. Respect between these two fighters. Gonna go to referee Paul Nichols for our decision. Stanimir seems very confident he's won. I would agree. Yeah, we'll see. I think that was the right decision. Stanimir with a great grappling, great game plan. You know, the heart to come through it all, at that adversity, and it wasn't easy for him. It looked like in round one that it was going to be an easy night, but as normal, Jordan Denning came on strong. As soon as he gets into the rhythm, he's such a good fighter, but Stanimir did everything right. A brutal, brutal crucifix position where he got so much damage off. And, um, you know, what a performance. Both fighters, they got so much to take away from that, so many points to work on and improve. And so many positives as well. Excellent performance by both fighters. This is Ballerina. Some of the UK's top amateur mixed martial arts action. That was for the world featherweight title. Stanimir Madrov taking that much coveted Ballerina belt home for him. That belt's been held before by the likes of Sam Creasine, Fabian Edwards, and some of the top UK and world pro fighters now. And they started on this, the Ballerina Cage, the best way to get exposure. And if you can, try and come along and watch a Ballerina event live. You will be amazed how much more visceral, how much more enjoyable it is in person. It's really the emotion within the arena, isn't it, Chris? It's one it of is. those times that you got to get in there and you got to see what's going on. But this has been an absolute incredible card. 29 fights, every fight has been absolutely incredible. And now we're moving on to one of my favorite fights of the evening, one I've been looking, out for, looking forward to for almost a year the rematch between Hadi Shakar and Tommy Gibbs. Whoa. Hadi Shakar representing BST, of course, the current world flyweight champion, and Tommy Gibbs, the former world flyweight champion representing Elite Training Center, and he's going to try to reclaim what was his formerly. Please join us in a few minutes. And I'm here with the new Battle Arena World Amateur Featherweight Champion, Stanmir Modrev. Stanmir, give us your thoughts. Um, not a while ago, about a couple of years, like three, four years, I found God. And I think this is really important for everyone, each of us, because that's how we find, we find ourselves, true, truly. Um, and a that, that big part of that is listening to what my mind is telling me. There's a couple of voices in your head and once you start realizing what it, what's what, what's your consciousness, what's your brain, which is the survival mechanism trying to protect you, don't want to push you too much, and what's God, which is that, that voice that whispers, but very rarely shouts. And this is what I'm listening to, and this is why I'm here today, this is my calling, and this is who I am, actually. I found my true self, and I'm, all I'm doing there is I'm expressing myself truthfully. Honestly, like Bruce Lee says, honestly expressing yourself. And you're expressing yourself in an amazing way, my man. Stanimir, we are absolutely honored to have you on. You are our new world champion. Thank you so much. We cannot wait to see you defend the belt, sir. Thank Congratulations. You Thank you very much. And we're going to hand back over to Ricky Bright in the cake. Say something. Uh, to all the sponsors that are looking for, for the, uh, this show, I want to say you're very welcome. And uh, I'm continuing my way by grabbing the world championships, well, amateur championships, I'm off, and then going to pro, going to UFC, and winning it all. Sir, you're a star. Thank you. Okay.